Good blessings, brothers and sisters. Good blessings. All praises to the Most High. My brothers in the truth. My sisters in the truth. Good blessings. Yes, I um ran into something, man, that you know, I just kind of wanted to throw out there, man, and just inform because it's funny how the media ain't really matter of fact, they just straight downplaying all of this. I think they probably said something when it first um, was announced, but other than that, it's not really been to the forefront even to be recognized, you know, it's really how they just kind of just, it's like they just under the radar with it and gonna slide, gonna slide two brothers in dancing around with pom-poms in the mix of an NFL football game. But yes, that's where we're at right now in 2018. <laughs> LA Rams at NFL's first two male cheerleaders. All right, let's dig into the article. Let's see what they, what they got for us, unfortunately. The Los Angeles Rams have made NFL history by hiring two men as team cheerleaders. When the season kicks off this summer, they will be the first two totally equal male cheerleaders in the league's modern history. Quentin Perrin and Napoleon Jennings are two classically trained dancers who will join the Rams cheerleading squad this year. You notice they threw that classically trained dancers in, right? I, prove, I want to prove that boys can dance too, Perrin said, according to Hornet. After college, we're not given a choice or a chance to do anything after. We're like, just told to get a nine to five job and that's it. But that doesn't work, I'm an artist. I'm a creative person. The Baltimore Ravens added essentially stuntmen a couple years ago. And back in early 2000s, the Tennessee Titans had male Yale leaders for a nanosecond. These roles have continued the stereotypical what guys do, yell and throw things. Wow, wow. Perrin and Jennies are the first two men who will be dancing and shaking pom-poms like women. Wow. Man, look at her, man. Look at her. You know, it's pretty much self-explanatory, man. The first two men who will be dancing and shaking pom-poms just like women. Wow. That's how we rocking now, huh? Okay. The Rams have made a real splash since returning to Los Angeles, embracing some of these inclusive culture of the city. Last year, the team sponsored Venice Pride. Now, this move upends some of the gender norms that have been pushed in the league for decades. I'm sorry. Hey, this is this is. You know what? I ain't even saying I'm sorry, man. This is just straight up hilarious, man. This is laughable, man. You know what I mean? They really pushing this threshold with this, with this agenda. You know, you got, you got uh, uh, Stephen Curry and, and, and his wife, his wife, uh, Aisha Curry. She didn't, she didn't start up a little uh, restaurant and, and on the bathrooms. It just says uh, human. You know, it don't say man or woman. It just says human. You know, hey man, it's like this is this is really, 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 really sad. You know, I mean, they just twist and twist in nature, twist and twist in nature, going against the Most High and how stuff is designed and how it's supposed to be in order. You know, this is the product. Of not keeping them commandments, not 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 staying grounded in our faith. But yeah, man, this is the 2018 season. Uh, I'm sure it's gonna be more of them to come. You know, I'm sure like this is not gonna be some type of fad. 
Uh, uh, but I'm sure they're coming to a team in your city. You know, as you watching your hometown team get down after they score, you know, you you hype. All of a sudden, you see a man with pom poms. All praises to the Most High. Keep your lamps filled with light.